Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah. And I'm Jess. So today's video is about things you should know before moving to the UK, specifically if you're moving to London. Yeah, both me and Leah have moved from other parts in the UK to London, but Jess... Yeah, I moved from New York over to here after I lived in Italy for a year, so mm -hmm. I have some input as well. Yeah. Um, so we've all thought of one thing each which is worth bearing in mind before you move over to London or to the UK in general. Um, so Joel, do you want to kick it off first? Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, so mine was a general perception before I arrived in in London and that was basically where I'm from back at home with my parents it's a very well not very rural but more rural than London it's a very white middle-class community and so moving to London was actually quite a big cultural shock I think because there's so many different nationalities and, and cultures here in the city so that was took a bit of getting used to definitely um, London is so multicultural. Mm. Yeah, I think, especially as an American coming over here, I didn't realize um, just how many different cultures, and it's not just, um, London's not just filled with British people, I guess, really. Mm. There's people from all over the world that come here, and that's what, what I think makes London so great, though. Yeah, no, definitely. So recently a survey was done, and apparently there are 53 main languages that are spoken in London, which I think is incredible. There's yeah. so many different languages and cultures that come with that. The good thing is, if you're moving to London from another country or another part of the UK, there's always going to be a community that you can fit in with. I mean, you'd fit in anyway with any community, but because there's so many nationalities. If you're Mexican, there'll definitely be a Mexican community. If you're, if you're Greek, they've got Greek yeah. communities. I went to London Greek Artists, which is so niche. It's lovely. Have yeah, you and there's any? loads of American groups, because mm. I think there's like 36,000 Americans wow. in London. I don't know where that's just And you're one from. of them. And I'm one of them. And they <laughs> love to chat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very loudly. <laughs> <lovely. laughs> So there is, yeah, there's loads of, of things for Americans as well. Actually, Jess and I met at a meetup called Coffee Club. Yeah, the yeah. YouTube one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was a YouTube meetup mixed with people that like coffee. <laughs> See, there's a community for everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so make sure if you are coming to London, just get online, find meetups, there's groups, there's, there's something for everyone. If you love caterpillars, there's probably a group here. <laughs> um, it's true though, I mean, even um, like, I guess, for YouTubers, like if you have anything creative that you like to do, that's a really good way to kind of, even if you mm -hmm. take a couple of classes, mm -hmm. then that can be a good start. You can find out about, um, there's always free meetups even that have to mm -hmm. go around that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's a really oh, good yeah. point. Make sure, realize. make sure you try and go to the free ones as well, because you don't want to yeah. be spending money to uh, make friends, I guess. No. Uh, which brings me on to my point, which is how do I make friends when I come to London or to the UK? So similarly to Joel, coming to London can be a huge culture shock, but it can also be amazing because you get exposed to all different types of people, ideas, foods, cultures, and within those cultures, you're gonna make friends with people who you might not have met back home. Just some tips for making friends. If you're religious, why not join a church in London? Um, you're going to meet so many people. I know Joel's part of one, mm -hmm. and yeah. like the community is massive, and I've met yeah. some of them, they're all lovely. Definitely. I wouldn't have anywhere near as many friends if I didn't have my church friends as well. Mm. So like just having a community, it doesn't have to be church, that you can go to every week and you can make friends with. It's, it's really helpful. Yeah, I think actually what helped me probably in the beginning the most was having a job, because mm -hmm. I actually was trying to freelance when I first moved here and yeah. I really wanted to do that but the only reason I ended up getting a full-time permanent desk job was because I just wanted to meet other people yeah. <laughs> and it really like it, it just got me out every day meeting people that kind of had similar interests mm -hmm. to me Definitely. and it was such a good way to make really good connections with people because you have to spend a lot of time with yeah. them obviously yeah. Yeah. so that was a, a really good start for me for starting to generate like a friend group yeah. Yeah. and then you get invited to um, Christmas parties yeah work yeah. parties there's, <laughs> always, there's almost something every <laughs> free evening night <laughs> free night out yeah. there's always something every evening so if you're not moving here for university where there'll be an there'll be organised fun such as freshers and so on um, if you get a job in London like Jess did and you, you're just going to meet so many people well I personally I just strike up conversations with people. I've got people saved in my phone as um, Ben on the bus. To met Ben on a bus, he's absolutely lovely. You know, you, that's just, that's just, that's just oh, me. Like, ben, on the bus. ben on the bus, absolutely lovely guy. You know, some of the best friends I've made in London I've met through um, doing improv classes, which is like um, really great for people who just want to come out of their shell a bit. And I'm interested in comedy anyway, so that's why I went there. But you know, just do some classes. 
to go to yoga. <laughs> They have free yoga too, they have lots of free yoga. Yeah. Outdoor yoga when the weather's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do goat yoga, have you seen goat yoga? What? What's have that? you seen it on Facebook? No! You do yoga in a barn, I don't think it's in London, but with goats, and these baby goats are just like jumping on top of you while you're in downward <laughs> dog, or like, it's so good. Do you think it would hurt? No, because they're really, they're baby goats, they're oh, baby okay. kids. Oh. And so Joel's GoFundMe page is below. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jess, what would your top thing be? So, as an American, coming from America when I moved here, uh, on paper it, it seemed like London, and I'm from New York so I know New York City really well, it seemed like um, it would be such an easy transition and it wasn't too difficult, but actually you would think that the two cities and the two countries would be so similar. We all speak the same language mm -hmm. and we do a lot of things quite um, similarly, but actually there's a lot that isn't the same, which was kind of a big shock to me because, well, I think language is probably the biggest thing, right? Like, okay. we're, yeah. what do they say? Like, we're two countries divided, no, two language, no, I can't They, they say it. something. <laughs> yeah, they say something. <laughs> we do say, like, a lot of things quite differently, and I think probably mm -hmm. the biggest one for me when I first moved here was pants. Oh, oh my okay. god. <laughs> I did, yeah, it, that was the biggest one that I had to get used to, and <laughs> probably the most awkward one when I was saying like, oh, I didn't like bring very many pairs of pants when I moved here, so I need to go shopping. People are like, why are you telling, well, telling me about your underwear? Okay, a little strange. Um, <laughs> but there's just so many things, but even cultural things like um, the pubs here, where during the day you can go like, and kids are in the pubs, babies are in the pubs, dogs yeah. are in the pubs, mm -hmm. everyone goes there for lunch, it's such a like casual thing, but we don't really have that in the US. It's You have to be like probably over 18 to be in there and then 21 yeah. to mm. drink, obviously. And yeah. Yeah. it's just um, such a different culture. And just little things like that, really, that are cool and like interesting and you have to get used to. Yeah. yeah. I know that if I go back home, if I go into a pub, there's like one or two. I know I'm going to see loads of people I know there because yeah. there's no doubt that they're going to be in the pub. Like that's mm. where they are. I see. I love that. We don't. We don't really have that. Maybe a little bit in New York City because you can go, but then that being said, it's a big city, so yeah. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't walk in and see somebody that you knew, and and you still probably really wouldn't bring kids somewhere where you might be having like a boozy brunch or something. Yeah. yeah, which is the difference here. But I do love that about here is that you can you can just like show up and you can bring the whole family mm. and everybody meets on a Sunday or a Saturday and yeah, yeah. it's such a it is such a nice thing that we don't have over in the U.S. Well, mate, get some pubs in the U.S. Come on. Yeah. They, wouldn't, they wouldn't feel the same, though. Like, I really yeah. like I really like the gross pub carpet in, yeah. in London. Like, for a long time, I wanted my future home, wherever I buy, <laughs> to have, like, really horrible pub carpet up the stairs, because it doesn't show the stains. I often thought, though, Americans <laughs> must go to some pubs and they're like, like why fun. haven't they decorated in a while? But we love it. Yeah. Mm. Or even if they're not, like, um, as much run down, but... Just thinking about some of some pubs are older than the United States of America. That's yeah, crazy. Like, it it's is so crazy. crazy, and maybe just even that, like the floor squeaks when you walk in, and like in the U.S., mm. they wouldn't probably wouldn't hold on to that very long. They probably want to redo it, but here yeah. it's like this is it just gives it character. It's yeah. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, I think that's enough um, tips and stuff. I don't got anything else to chip in. We're, We're done. done. Yeah. Um, be sure to go and check out Jess's channel, which we will link below. Um, so informative and so useful. So Definitely, you especially think. for you guys that are interested in British culture. This yeah, is that your girl. lads on there. Yeah. This is like a really targeted collab. Yes. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 See you next week, and in September, we're doing two videos a week. Woo! Yeah, we are. Stick around for that. Yeah. Lots of love. Goodbye. Click the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget about that one.